Hello and welcome to 3 Dollar TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. It's Monday, the day we bring you latest updates from the Deal Street, a bunch of curated stories from the Web3 space, giving you the flavor of market activity and the fresh deals struck during this week. Well, we have collated deals from varied segments in this show so that you, our viewers, stay well informed of the latest developments and benefit from the activities taking place in this space. Well, today's episode is quite interesting. There's a couple of deals that belong to the most buzzing segment, the artificial intelligence, a cryptography firm raising funds to develop applications and a crypto payment company. But first, the restaking protocol raising funds to enhance Omni Network Security, which is essential as we will be undergoing Dancan upgrade on Ethereum blockchain. As we mentioned, Omni Network has secured a $600 million deal from restaking protocol Ether.Fi to enhance the security of the Omni Network and Eigenland. The $600 million will be used to secure both the Omni Testnet and Mainnet. Ether.Fi is currently the world's largest liquid restaking protocol with a total value logged of $1.88 billion. Well, uh, the $600 million worth of Ether will be restaked on Eigenlayer, the largest uh, Ethereum restaking protocol with over $10.3 billion in total value locked. This strategic partnership comes two weeks after Anderson Horowitz announced a $100 million funding round for Eigenlayer and a $50 million funding round in March led by Blockchain Capital. The $600 million deal positions Omni Network at the forefront of growing restaking ecosystem. Moving on to the second deal of the show, we are bringing you updates on most happening segment for the Web3 space, the artificial intelligence. Well, who doesn't know about Fetch token? It collected most gains in the past week. Fetch.ai is a crypto project focused on AI built on the Cosmos blockchain. It announced a $100 million investment towards Fetch Compute, a new infrastructure program. This initiative aims to empower developers and users within the Fetch.ai ecosystem by providing them with enhanced tools, computing power and training capabilities. Fetch Compute will offer access to powerful graphics processing units or GPUs including NVIDIA H200, H100 and A100 models. This platform will be financed by the Fetch.ai ecosystem fund and will be available to both developers and users seeking additional processing power for their projects. Moving on to the next deal, this company is engaged in applications development. We are talking about an open source cryptography firm, Zama, which has raised $73 million in Series A funding to develop applications based on fully homomorphic encryption, a technology that enables data to be processed without decrypting it, potentially useful for uh, protecting privacy in blockchain and AI. The funding round was led by Multicoin Capital and Protocol Lab. Zama announced via email on Thursday. Participating investors included Solana co-founder Antoli Akovenko, Filecoin founder Yuan Bennett and uh, Ethereum and Polkadot co-founder Gavin Wood, according to a press release. Well, the next deal once again covering AI segment. I research an AI-focused blockchain startup said on Tuesday it raised $30 million in a Series A funding round from investors including HackVC, Solana Labs and cryptocurrency exchange OKX. IO Research's primary product, IO.net, is a blockchain-based network that allows users with unused graphic processing units capacity to provide computing power to resource-intensive AI companies. Well, the funding announcement signals invest interest in AI-driven technologies as well as renewed interest in cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Well, we have reached the final deal of the show. UK Financial Conduct Authority authorized crypto payments firm Banks has raised $20 million in a Series A funding round led by Tezos, Chiron and British Business Bank. The funding is reportedly being dedicated to introducing services in the US and Latin America this year. Well, Bank's total funding is now over $30 million in Bank's token. BXS is up roughly 8% over the past 24 hours. Well, that's all in this episode of The Deal Corner. Keep watching 3 Auto TV for more such updates and do log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off.